previously on Oxventure. At a monastery downriver from the Tangle, the Oxventurers Guild faced the so-called true heroes of Geth in a trial to decide which of the two parties fulfilled an ancient prophecy. With tenacity and shenanigans, the Oxventurers won the trial and therefore the second shard of their precious orb. No sooner was this second key reunited with the orb than a familiar voice brought news of the third and final key. I've got the shard. It's in the usual place. Oh no! Oh, the bottom of the lake. <laughs> oh no! But, uh, gotta go. Uh, no, don't wait. Don't, no, don't wait. Don't go. wait. Well, don't Katie and I wait. appear to have a lot to work out. So, don't uh, wait. What's the all right. Good luck. The clouds part and a lovely ray of sunshine filters down across the Lake District of Geth and lands on a small party of adventurers in a little rowing boat that may or may not have been dragged in t like up a mountain from a pirate ship. But um, everyone is just kind of sat there with a rod having a little fish because you've been in the Lake District for a while now so this will definitely count as a long rest. But um, you of course had to go to a lake uh, and fish out the, the map that Dob threw in, which leads you to the lake that the treasure is actually in. Mm. Oh, right, this yeah. was his two-factor authentication. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, it's more of a two-lake authentication. <laughs> okay, yes. so we yeah. need the first map to find the second map. No, to find so, the second well, lake. Right. Yep. We assume it's only two lakes. There might be a third. It's entirely <laughs> possible. He's, yeah, he'll have... The thing is, he'll have a list of backup lakes, but they'll be just written down and just in his wallet, so yeah. you can't rely on those right now because he's not actually there. But um, yeah. you, have, you have to click on all the bits in the portrait. There are a lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then sometimes it, it, it tells you you're wrong. It's like, I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> and then a little, uh, a little crow turns up, a little messenger crow. Yeah, you have to read out the number that the crow's got written on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it asks you, "Are you are you a robot?" And you say, "What's a robot?" <laughs> <laughs> are you are you a war forged? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you say no, and it says, "Congratulations, you've logged in. <laughs> yeah. You have four notifications." Yeah. So you're fishing. <laughs> Logging in, of course, is when you throw a log into the lake. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you Should we stop doing this now? <laughs> yeah. yeah, please. I'm fishing I'm now. I'm doing a fishing thing now. <laughs> okay. Well, Joe, why don't you make me a roll for fishing? Oh, uh, yeah. Would, all right. What would that cool. even be? Uh, be nature, um, probably, nature. right? Maybe a nature check to do all some right. fishing. I would like I, to dead eye a fish with my hand crossbow. Okay, sure. I yeah. mean, obviously, I don't have any, <laughs> any nature skills, but uh, um, I would like to give up on fishing and turn into a giant octopus and just get in the lake and have a look. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a fourteen for what it's worth. Oh, nice okay. one, Prue. Uh, yeah, you, you've, you've hooked yourself quite a large um, turbot. That's a oh. fish I've heard of. There we go, everyone. La it's large for a turbot, which means that I don't have to describe how big it is in relation to anything else. <laughs> I'm imagining a turbot here, everyone. Look at this okay. turbot. Yeah. Good. Prudent. Yeah. Prudent. Yes, yeah. I give, I give very you. impressive. It's not that it's not a map though, is it? And it's not any gold, so I'll I throw it back. I did. I did. I did. I did. I give you puppy eyes <laughs> with my little octopus, and I'm like, um, all right. I, fe I feed the turbot to Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> it's all beaky. Wow. Incredible. Wow. How how was the dead eyeing roll there, Corazon? I don't know what I was rolling, but I got a 19. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, you yeah. murder a pike. Uh, it comes up, sort of belly up. With a with a crossbow bolt through its skull. Okay, so I pull out. I, it's on the arrow now, and I mm -hmm. ask Edward Ed to produce flame. And all right. Grill it. Yeah, I'll give it a grill. Give it a quick grill. Brilliant. That's what are we your... going to do with all these useless fish? This isn't getting us anywhere. A bit bony. Um. Oh yeah, we were looking for uh, the map. How's a map going to be in a lake? It's isn't it paper? Isn't it going to melt? Well, you've already recovered the first map. Ah. Um, right. I'm pleased to say you've already been through the first lake. You've recovered. Was it the laminated? Map. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, how did we find it? Was it very obvious? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, there was it, a big, uh, like, no need to elaborate. Mache, <laughs> there was a big papier mache dob at the bottom of the ocean. And it, it was winking. It was, no, it was by the side of the lake, just there, like, in giant a kind neon of, like, sign going like this. If you're being lake. winked at by this, you're probably fishing in the right place. 
Nice. But papier mache statues are a fairly common um, sign and signifier across Geth, so don't even worry about it. You're actually at the treasure lake. Um, mm. Oh, good. <gasps> So, nice. um, oh. Meryl, when you can, you can kind of see this is a very, very deep lake. Um, mm -hmm. Like to the point where you're not surprised very little has been brought up from the bottom because of its sheer depth. But you can just about see the glint of sort of gold and, and like decomposing hessian sacks of treasure mm. up at the very bottom of the <gasps> lake. But I would actually like you to make me a constitution saving throw. Ruh -ruh. Is it because she's in freshwater? <laughs> she's a saltwater octopus. <laughs> This is one of those salt water, water lakes they have. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a. It's got two suns. A Why can't it have salt water lakes? It be yeah, like. it does. Yeah. That's a sixteen. Sorry. Oh, sixteen. Okay, yeah. No, you're. You are. You're not immediately sick, but oh, no, it wait, occurs... an eighteen. Sorry. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, you don't even think you are going to be sick. <laughs> but um. Eighteen. You are immediately sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Oh, eighteen. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. You're not sick. Okay. Can I can safe? I gauge roughly how deep this water is? So in, like in feet. Or tentacles. In or your tentacles, case. indeed. Pseudopods. It is probably about a f three or four minute free swim down for a person. So for an octopus it's less. But obviously the, the pressure of the water as it kind of as you go deeper sort of starts to compress on your weird squidgy head. <laughs> Meryl Wen. Meryl Wen, can you somehow filter the water through your gills or whatever and gauge its purity levels? Hmm. Like, you know, if you were, felt a little like you might be sick, there might be something toxic in the water. Yeah. Drink I'm it. So drink, drink it, it and be our official taster. It, yeah. <laughs> like I said, okay. filter it through uh, your fine mesh okay. cheeks or whatever. I, yeah, is. Filter my, it. My little beak. Mm -hmm. Take a little. Yeah. <laughs> so, absolutely fine. You're absolutely fine. Yeah. Interesting. You think it, right, you now think it might point. have been something you ate, that's all. Okay. Uh -huh. Probably a bad turbot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so we don't know where in the lake that he's put the shard, but probably we should get all our treasure back as well, because look, it's all down there. Mm -hmm. oh, we're going to be dredging stuff up all day. I'd, I'd like <laughs> to... Or we drain the lake. Uh, well, I, I love it. I would like to, to go down and mm -hmm. like... Just scoop up a few things in each of my tentacles, like a little thing for each of them up back up on the boat. That's nice. Yeah. So like kind of a, a cool a cool looking like I don't know, like heavy club looking thing for Egbert. And something kind of like mystical looking for prudence. Mm -hmm. And then like that for some reason there's a really cool shiny pair of uh like leather boots that have done pretty well considering they've been submerged in water for all this time yeah. for Corazon. They've got some like gold trim, which is why they ended up. Hey, Jack Darkfall's in... boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. You now have Jack Darkfall's boots. Um, Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Did Dob steal Jack Darkfall's boots and put them in a lake? I, I stole them. Okay. But then... I guess Dob uh, took them as as he clearly saw how much I treasured them. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we better keep these safe. Yeah, they clearly have great value. Well, Merlin, why don't you make me a wisdom perception check okay. to just have a while you're down there, have a scout around on the the lake bed. Okay, so I rolled a two, but <laughs> <laughs> I can add seven, so I have a nine. So I'm not that dumb. <laughs> no, you're not that dumb, but you're not that smart. <laughs> um, like, you don't see anything that, you know, there's no more papier-mâché Oh, wait, dots. ten. I forgot to add my extra one, ten. It's not really going to help, but there's it's no nice. There's no papier-mâché It's a nice dobs round number. Pointing, <laughs> pointing you toward uh, the possible location of this shard, I'm afraid. You uh, start to come up for air. You, you really do... Um, like the queasy feeling in your stomach is not going away and you're starting to think that perhaps there wasn't something right about that turbot after all mm. I cooked it thoroughly I turn back into druid me uh, yeah, get back into the you boat cooked the pike like... thoroughly egg, but not the turbot yeah oh. mm. fair enough they all look the same to me these fish owing to the vagaries of um, of turning back into a human having previously been an octopus because Elf. obviously these things do not correlate Sorry, into, turning back into an elf. <laughs> the physiology of an octopus and that of an elf doesn't exactly correlate brilliantly. Like, if as no. a bear you'd eaten this fish, it would still be in your stomach. But when you turn back into an elf, you just have the entire fish in your mouth. Oh! Um, no! Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 
throw and that's disgusting. Sorry. Yeah, you better be. The turbo itself lands on the deck with a wet smack and um, kind of goes, it itself goes bleh, although obviously it's dead. And uh, oh. sure enough, poking out of the uh, the mouth of this turbo <gasps> is that which you seek. Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh. All right, well, thanks Good work, Sean everyone, coming to another great Oxventure. Everyone, hope you enjoy it. Thanks to Johnny for another great session. <laughs> um, I think we all enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for more D and D. Bye. Wait, this has been ludicrously easy. I don't trust it. What's the catch? Why is this shard it's here? It's a turbot. Is the catch? <laughs> I can't believe I got in after Meryl and Cross. Such an obvious pun. <laughs> I think it was in unison, true. So welcome. Anyway, look at this shard. This is this is like the other shard. What we found. We'll jam it in the in the mm-hmm. shard hole then. Does this not seem awfully convenient to anyone else? Yes, but don't look a gift shop. Why do you hate the, convenience, Corazon? I'm more just, for it. I don't know. I would like to. Do you I would think like it was just... a trap set by this turbot? <laughs> Might have been. Okay, can I just like scan the lake for any like looming shadows of Cthulhu monsters that are about to burst up and get me? Absolutely. Yeah, make me a um, an intelligence investigation check. Oh God. Only because you mentioned Cthulhu things, and those have to be investigated. That's the law of role-playing games. <laughs> okay, well, I rolled a five, but with various modifiers, that's a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> various okay. modifiers. Well, I whiffed it, but uh, uh, because of circumstances, no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's it seems like a perfectly it's, it's a perfectly nice fishing day. You're like, mm, there doesn't seem to be any immediate danger here, which probably also. Uh, doesn't actually help you feel any better. <laughs> so suspicious of everything that's happening. All right, Corazon, let's... we finally caught a break. Yeah. Why don't we roll with it and no, we caught a stick this shard in the orb like it once? Uh, agreed. Okay, Let you do it down that end of the rowboat and I'll be down this end of the rowboat. All right, mm-hmm. I retreat to the far end of the rowboat. Mm-hmm. You, you stay over there. All right, do you want to do the honours, Merylwyn? I get the orb okay. out of the satchel and hold it in place. Take the shard. Okay. I'm like, huh, but let's hope this doesn't make any world ending things happen. <laughs> Pop it in. Ka-dink. Okay, it kind of it slides in as per the other ones, but um whereas before you just caught sort of got like a small noise, there is a very low kind of clunk noise of a mechanism being released. Again, the sort of the green particles that uh appeared before to point you towards the location of the next uh shard all start to swirl up and then just dissipate on the wind. Oh no! In your hands, Prudence, the entire sphere just kind of clunk, falls open. <gasps> like, you know, like a box, like the net of it, it just kind of, it is now just flat in your hands. <gasps> and there appears to be an inscription on the very bottom of the, um, of the orb. Whoa! But before you, um, you bend your, your keen eye to it and start reading, you hear a voice from the other end of the boat, actually. Corazon, this, this voice comes from right next to you. And yeah. it says... Hello. Ah, geez, who, what, who's there? Sat on the prow of the ship uh, is, we'll go from the from top to bottom. Uh, it seems to be sort of like a, a handsome man in his sort of <laughs> mid to late twenties, we'll say. Um, so that rules me out. Um, it's got oh, everyone, oh, everyone say no. Everyone say no. Oh. <laughs> that could easily be John. No, I meant oh. mid to late twenties. Anyway. Uh, he's got shining green eyes, seems to have a, a handsome face, got sort of mutton chop sideburns and sort of like a crop of curly hair. And then as you uh, you sort of s- scan down, you see that his, his hands seem sort of permanently soot-stained, but they seem to shine almost as if they're made of obsidian or something. Uh, but by far his most recognisable feature is the fact that instead of legs, well, he has legs, but they are uh, the legs of a rooster with sort of um, actually a crop of sort of blue feathers sticking out from the sort of more fleshy lower bits of the um, of of oh. the of the the, fod, the the form of the legs. Wow, what, what interesting oh. legs. I love what you've done with them, I say, as I move back away to the other end of the boat. Corazon, what's happening at that end of the boat? What is this nonsense? What's happening? Uh, don't, I mean, don't stare at them, but there's a guy with uh, rooster legs on him. Well, introduce yourself. <laughs> appears to have turn, turned up. Hey there. Hey, hey, friend. Hello, Can Corazon. Oh, you know, hey, oh, you, are you know friends. my name. That's cool. I know all of um, your names. I've been travelling with you for a, a long time now. Hello, Prudence. Oh. <laughs> uh, hi. Hello. Are you some sort of personification of the orb? Well, no. Um, I am of. in there. I am of the orb. Yes, I was. I was popped in there. 
Seven years ago, out. actually. Was it I our fault? see out of the orb. Hmm? Could you see out of the orb? Well, I could perceive things, obviously. That's how I know your names. So how you were I... like looking at us through the orb? Like bit, when we went to the creepy. privy and stuff? Well, I, mean, I wasn't looking when anyone went to the privy, but I suppose I could have done. I don't like this rooster legged pervert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I am many things. But anyway. At least two things. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're very yeah. chipper for someone who's been in, or- in an orb for centuries, friend. Well, yes, I'm out of the orb now, and I have oh. you to thank for it. I yeah, you... was stuffed in there centuries ago by some do-gooders. Boring. Boring they were. And then I saw you uh, on the other side of that glass in that ridiculous museum. Seal Gaiman doesn't visibly react at this. <laughs> and I thought, now there is somebody who can get me out of this orb. And so I uh, just suggested to you that perhaps you should pick up the orb and then, you know, every now and then sort of, orb, oh, here's a clue. And then you, yeah, you're very efficient. I thought it would take decades for me to come out, but here we are. Lovely day. What have we caught? That's a pike? Is that a pike? Whoa, I whoa, ate whoa. The pike. If you were hmm? put in the orb by a bunch of do-gooders, this makes you a do-badder? Yes? Well... No? Really? Yeah, explain your bad doing. Bad doing. Yeah. Well, I don't think it is bad doing. I, it is all a matter of perspective. Because all I want to do in this life is have a little bit of fun. Hmm? I said those do goods boring. They were boring. And you know what? I have been in the orb, but I've been able to perceive enough. Geth is boring now. It's just dull. It's people living their lives just you know oh i get up and i eat something so i can go to work and i can earn enough money that i can eat something to go to bed and i'll have something to eat in the morning when i get up for more work so i can earn more money and then just carry on until i fall over in the road and everybody forgets my name (laughs) everybody deserves better than this this rooster man is speaking my language friend what's your name (laughs) my name party genie my name is vacatus 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 we're gonna be friends yeah, yes, well, about that. Um, I've decided I'm. Lovely as fishing is, not really what I had in mind. Um, okay. I would like to, to liven things up a bit around here, but I was thinking sort of like a bigger scale thing. Sort of, you know, like a. Uh, no, no, all of Geth sort of enlivening thing, which is going to take some doing, and it's going to take um, some power. So I. T- I guess what I'm trying to say here, friend, is that I, I'm going to need some starting cash if I'm if I'm going to make this work. Here it is. Well, <laughs> no, prudence. Can we hear a this... little more about the investment opportunity first? Yeah. yeah. What kind yeah. of ske- what kind of scheme or scamola is this? Yeah. Well, it's what not... are you running here, hmm. Vacatus? It's not so much an investment opportunity as I suppose I'd call this a robbery. Oh, yeah. Catus. Prudence, he points at you. No! Um, and, Prudence, I'm sorry to say that you feel something shift. It's almost like someone's knocked the wind out of you. Oh. And Vicatus goes, thank you, and tips all of your wink and just tumbles into the water backwards. <laughs> and the moment the surface of the water settles, um from Vacatus's tumble backwards, he uh, pops up on the far bank, gives a cheerful wave. He has just basically, he's covered the entire width of this this lake in a split second. He waves at you and he starts to run off uh, in a sort of northwesterly direction. <laughs> Does it look weird with his rooster legs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's sort of running off check. like a like a, a man sewn onto the, the lower body of a... Uh, <laughs> A rooster. Um, Frogborn Leghorn. I I frantically (laughs) look over the side of the boat to see if the gold is still there. In the bottom of the lake? In the bottom of the lake. Yeah. It is. Still there as far as you can tell. So, but all the money's still here. I thought he was stealing the starting capital. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Unless he wasn't, oh my god, unless he wasn't talking about magic. Prudence cast Eldritch Blast. Are you sure? Well, not on me. Just do it in the lake. Just (laughs) just do it on on that fish over there. All right, all right. Sorry, fish. Okay, fine. I've cast Eldritch Blast on a uh, nearby fish. Okay. No, I cast Agonizing Blast. I send one blast towards Corazon and one towards what? a nearby fish. <laughs> okay. Not on um, me. You said cast Eldritch Blast. That's the law. To your surprise and disappointment, Prudence, uh, and probably to the relief of Corazon, like, nothing. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Your... Oh, no. 
your brain kind of goes to the place where it goes when you tap into your connection with Cthulhu. And it is like a screen has been thrown up between you. Uh, and that screen is cloudy. It's almost like a living, breathing fog. On the other side, you can perceive Cthulhu, but you can perceive that Cthulhu Dad is effectively writhing around uh, ah. in a state of confusion and, and oh, no. distress and fury because your connection's been severed. Oh. Vocatus appears to have stolen your link of patronage. <gasps> oh. 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 Well, well, well. Vacatus, this no. is what will happen when you take the easy route of the warlock, isn't Vacatus, it? Vacatus, <laughs> why? But now the uh, the wise wizard who learns their magic and comes right. by it through elbow grease and good old hard work. Yeah, I like bin bag. Because you ain't a wizard, are you? Is this helping, Prudence? Me showing you how easy I find it to do magic? I sit bereft on the edge of the boat. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Well, wait, wait, wait. Have you tried Moonbeam? Yeah, the easiest, the easiest spell there is. I've never cast Moonbeam before. I've yeah, never, the spell there is. I've never, I've never attempted Moonbeam. I attempt Moonbeam, the easiest spell there is. I'm afraid that as easy as it is, not even Moonbeam. Not Are even you oh. kidding me? This is worse than I thought. So, just a slight meta note, Jane. Earlier on, I sent you an amended character sheet. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, should I? I should look at it then. Should I? Should, yes. <laughs> All right. It's a bunch Hang of on. wands everywhere. You can hmm. you can play this close to your chest, but hmm. um, and until such time as you see it fit. But you are um, you're something else now. I'm another thing. Oh you're no. You're an, another thing entirely. Oh, I'm a no lock. Are you are you, a, are you aware no lock though? She's Still. a were lock. A were lock. <laughs> oh zing. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Prudence, oh. don't get don't get oh, down. You really about... know how to wound with words, Corazon. <laughs> Without being a was lock. <laughs> hey. It's Werlock. Werlock was better. Okay, Werlock you've you've better. done better, we'll Corazon. All right, fine. Mm. Um, hey, it's okay. We'll get we'll get after old um, Rooster Legs. My magic his name. My magic's Rooster gone. Legs. Yeah, it's we'll get up, we'll get after him. We'll get it back. I can't I can't talk to Cthulhu anymore. Severed our it's bond. Fine. Just write down the things that you want to say to Cthulhu, right. and then when you get the bond back, you can say them all in one go. Okay, okay, okay. But you, they'll still. Cthulhu will still hear. I, I okay. miss I miss Cthulhu. I miss Cthulhu, Dad. I know. I know you do, but we'll get we'll get the we'll get the link back right yeah. after we you drain better. this lake. <laughs> just need to get a huge just a three week lake three week later. operation. Yeah. yeah. Um, you better because I can't live like this, and neither can any of you. So <laughs> well, what are you gonna do, Eldritch Blasters? <laughs> No! Yes, your threats have no meaning anymore. My threats are I empty. Hold, this is the I worst. I Prudence back as she no. wails towards Carl. Like, no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's this track is... this, this. I mean, this guy must have left some big old chicken big footprints. Big chicken footprints. So yeah, let's get over to the tracking. other side of the lake. Let's row us over there. Okay. All right, let's row. Yeah, you start to row over to the other side of the lake. Corazon, I, I'm not going to strip it from you, but I wanted to give you inspiration for that lovely bit of, like heart to heart write all the things down and save them to Cthulhu dad so you can have inspiration mm. but goodness me was that cruel afterwards I just want to <laughs> yeah, I just sorry. I want to make it clear that I'm rewarding the nice bit the nice bit <laughs> not the nasty bit <laughs> you emerge on the other side of the bank and there are some footprints sort of in the sands on the um, the side of the lake that are still wet from where uh, Vocatus um, uh, emerged and ran up over sort of the nearest hillock um, I'd north, like to find Steed direction. and uh, summon Dogbert to try and get a scent. Okay, yeah. Um, that is absolutely fine. You don't need to roll summon Steed, do you? Not as far as I'm aware. No. No, so. it's not to summon the quality of the Steed or anything. Just before we set off, I would like to... Um, if this Vocatus is... It's been sealed away for ages. Mm. It, I mean, this might be a historically significant figure. We could maybe find out some more information about him in our local library. <laughs> Yep. Look at this nerd. Want to go to the it's library? Possible. What's up with you? What happened to Corazon? When did you become a book reading guy? All right, fine. Let's not learn anything about the person who severed your link to Cthulhu. Let's randomly wander uh, off into the woods. All right, I'm just grumpy for the for the sake of being grumpy now. So, right. well, if somebody wants to do some some reading on the matter, you remember that there is an inscription in the bottom of the uh, the orb. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I fish right. out the the flattened orb and then mm -hmm. offer it up for everyone to take a look. What, what does it say? It is written in sort of like a very old script. If you can read this, 
you messed up. The beast is free, Geth is in peril, be swift. By appetite shall the beast wreak havoc, by appetite may the beast's workings be undone. Good luck, kiss. <laughs> By appetite. At least there was a kiss. It's a hungry rooster. So we need to feed him a load of seed yeah. or something. Food. Yeah, well, he's Bird not a rooster seed. in the face and mouth area. He's right. a man. <laughs> also, a appetite man can mean many things. He had an appetite for, I don't know, for not boring things, right? For yeah, fun. it can be like just a desire. Oh, so we have to take him on the most fun night out ever. Until he dies of partying. Too much fun and dies of yeah. over partying. <laughs> we don't know what his appetites are, except that he found Geth boring these days. We I don't have like a better plan this... than a massive party, though, do we? So, mm. if this vacatus was sealed away before, there might be a less cryptic description of what happens in a book of history or something. No. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. He gave us his name. That's that's our lead. Vacatus. If you, I mean, let's okay. Let's follow these footprints anyway, because we might get a. And if we see a can, library on the way, yeah, I we'll pop in. Attack him with my dual. A roadside library. Easy. Yeah, let's yeah. check in. Yeah. Maybe one okay. of like a travelling book cart might be going past. Perhaps. Where it's like leave a book, take a book kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there might just be an, an eldritch tome on Vacatus. So how about Dogbert? Dogbert. Um, yeah. Has been summoned and immediately starts snuffling the ground. Mm. Seal Gaiman kind of like galumps over. Yeah. Sort of has a good look at Dogbert. Um, Dogbert does indeed sort of pick up a scent and points in a Dogbert nice. kind of like way, leading sort of up over the hillock that you you uh, you saw earlier. Great. Um, cresting that hill, if all of you care to, mm-hmm. you see that um, you know it's it there's a bit more of the lovely lovely Lake District in the centre of uh, of of this lovely sort of pastoral scene is a port town with the sea shining. Uh, beyond it and um, you notice from sort of uh, the familiar shape of all of the buildings and uh, yeah Corazon through your spyglass what looks like the ruins of some sort of enormous warehouse oh it's Port Fairwind <laughs> it is Port Fairwind <laughs> yeah hooray hooray wait, he needs chairs were we, were we now, run out of yeah, Port Fairwind r- remind, remind me whether we were run out of town how did we leave <laughs> Port Fairwind you was it on good terms you weren't run out of Port Fairwind great uh, we had to leave the room very quickly because we'd ah. overrun. Ah. But no. Uh, okay. You foiled the plot uh, and everyone went hooray. Flawless. And, and that, was, that was it. And then everyone we did, to um, Yeah, we did get told off for shouting about chairs in the street at 1am. But apart from that, yeah, okay. I think we're still welcome back. It's On our list of many crimes, done. that is definitely yeah. fairly So like low. light antisocial behaviour, but no, like we didn't do any, you know, mass yeah, murders yeah, exactly. or anything. On balance, the, the person who yelled at you for yelling about chairs was also the perpetrator. Of the crime itself, mm-hmm. oh, so yeah. you're kind so in of a way, we're heroes, kind yeah. of clean slate. Yeah, in, we uh, in Port prevenged Fairwind. him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what do the where do the footprints lead? They seem the town? they seem to lead toward <gasps> Port Fairwind. It's it is some distance off, but um, yeah, you'll fast. remember that um, he's uh, he's fast. Vacatus has rooster legs, and also did that teleport type thing. But That's anyone true. can do dog. But has dog's legs, which are also fast. So I'm going to ride Dogbert to the town and see if I can catch up with him. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll see you there. Bye. Good luck, Egbert and Dogbert. Thanks. I'm going to gallop off. This is one of the most heroic things you've ever done, Egbert, actually. Um, Just wanted an excuse to ride my giant dog around. Oh, I see. (laughs) So. <laughs> then are, are you taking the direct route or are you just palling around with your dog in a, no in a no we, we're taking wings? the direct route because oh, okay, i'd great. imagine he's loving it um yeah, yeah yeah oh he's having a great time yeah okay um yeah you start to gallop even on dog butt's back it takes you a couple of hours mm. um that's with the occasional like break to sniff for the trail to leave uh, a scent on a tree etc etc egg but you arrive to see that port fairwind doesn't seem to be and no one seems to be harmed um, no one seems to be in peril at all. In fact, the the whole town seems to be enjoying some sort of festival. Oh, he started the party already. <laughs> Everyone's kind of wandering around and being like, hey, like, oh, welcome to Port Fairwind. What an enormous dog, they say. Mm. Um, no one seems to be, like, out of it. People seem to be sort of merry and sort of on their way toward, like, a good roiling party drunk. But um, largely they just seem to be, like, in very good spirits and they're frequently going and... Uh, refilling their cups from sort of stationed about the place um, 
are these very, very large, sort of almost like standing cauldrons mm. um, uh, that are sort of an ornate metal, um, sort of like, they look like bronze. Uh, and they are just full to the brim with what looks like wine. No matter how many people sort of dip their cup in and like have a drink, uh, they seem they seem full. The the party is is huh. absolutely popping off in Port Fairwind. Can I ask a random person what the event is? What's the what's the celebration? Absolutely, you can. Um, you stop a random passerby. She turns to you and says, "Oh, hello, welcome to Port Fairwind." Hi. You're tall. Yes. I am. Uh, what's the celebration here? What's going on? What's the party? What's the occasion? Oh, uh, whose birthday is it? No, I don't. I don't think it's anybody's birthday. You know, I woke up this morning and it was just a another normal day of uh, having a bit of food and going out to earn money for f- food. Right, so and could... then till you die in the road. Got it. Um, but what's yeah, what, that's, what yeah. changed? Well, this this smashing uh, smashing young man turned up. Um, right. So I have a pair of fan- fancy, handsome, baggy trousers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And okay. he said, I'm a passing <laughs> wine merchant. Try some wine. Right. And he mm. set down a bowl here and a bowl there and a few others around the place. And he said, Paul Fairwind, you you work hard. You're good people. You make nice chairs. And everyone likes you. You deserve okay. to cut loose. You deserve a break. So I thought, well, I've, I am busy. But then I had a cup of wine and I thought... This is all right, actually. I thought I'll stick around and have another cup of wine. Hmm. And uh, okay. I d- I, that's it, really. Um, normal day. Someone brought loads of wine. We're having a bit of a piss up. <laughs> Fine. Uh, did this fancy chap stick around for the party, or has he been on his way? Oh, I'm sure he's off somewhere. But uh, he seemed to be just sort of meeting people and saying hi and and just putting out more wine. Don't know where right. he gets the stuff. There's loads of it. Where, whereabouts was that occurring? Town Square, oh, well. perhaps, or something? Uh, I mean, yeah, it is obvious that both of you are sort of on the outskirts of town. Sort of like, well, he, I guess I suppose he's working toward the middle. Right. You know, okay. back between the landward side and the seaward side. Well, thank you very much. Look mm. after yourself. Don't drink too much wine. You'll have okay. a rotten hangover tomorrow. Otherwise... Well, I'm going to have another cup of wine, though. Yeah, I mean, you can have another... I mean, don't let me set your limits for you, but, you know, just sure. bear in mind... Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. Oh, I'm a paladin, I've got to look out for these people, Egg right? trying so hard to be the adult in the room. Yeah, I really <laughs> am. And you're sure you won't have a cup of wine? Not yet, but a bit okay. later, maybe. All right, well, Aww. come find me when you do. <laughs> Will do, thanks for the offer. All right, I'm going to ride off on Dogbert majestically. Mm-hmm. Or as majestically as I can manage. Yeah, you saddle back up. Um, what what sort of thing are you, are you up to? I want to head towards the centre of town. I want to find this guy. Egwin's going to do this whole adventure on his yep, own. I am. Where? What are we, like two hours still away yeah, from town? You are still yes, you are. In. You're a couple of hours still away from town. <laughs> Should have learned to teleport, you guys. You... Wow. <laughs> Wowie. Should we just log off the call? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a nice session, Egbert. Yeah. You start to move further in uh, toward town, and it seems like, yes, the party is in full swing pretty much everywhere in Port Fairwind. Oh, we okay. could probably hitchhike along the way. There's probably someone heading into Fairwind. It's it's quite a big town. We could get there a little faster, maybe. Like yeah. As we yeah. walk, we're like. Make me a charisma persuasion check. Oh, hell yeah! I'd love to. Wait, have you checked your new character sheet? Maybe you took oh, the charisma. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're oh, deeply on. uncharming. Okay. Now. The numbers are the same, but okay. there are other things that are different. There are other things that, that are different. Can we see that natural twenty that I just rolled Ooh. on the charisma sheet? Uh, correct, correct, correct. Okay. okay. That was a seven because I rolled quite poorly, not because my modifiers are, are, are very different or anything. I did not okay. roll because Marowen does not like asking people, strange strangers, for help. Okay, fine. You, you... Marowen, the, the adult in the room in our case. <laughs> <laughs> you managed to pull over a very, 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 very large cart. It is drawn by um, a, a huge team of oxen because on this very, very, very large cart, on two different levels are lots of smaller carts that look like they can go very fast. Whoa! Amazing um, speed carts! And the uh, yes. the man driving says, Hello? Are you wanting something? Yes, sir. We're going to be taking three of your fastest carts. This is One a stick-up. This is a stick-up, I say. And Prudent, I, No, uh, prudence. Oh, prudence. good. Well, I... 
on whose authority? What? I mean, I suppose... On this authority. And then I f- remember I can't do Eldritch Blast. <laughs> and I say, Corazon, get him! No, sir, it, it, please ignore my companion. Um, I was wondering... <laughs> I was wondering, uh, having just... <laughs> I was wondering, having just been incredibly charismatic, uh, if I could borrow one of these cards to drive into town. I'll leave it there, you can pick it up there. But otherwise I've got to walk and I don't really fancy it. Well, that seems fair. I was going to say you're welcome to have a ride on the, uh, the my large wagon here. I feel like we might go quicker in one we, of these. Though, well, I really no, I walk. mean, there's yeah. not much room for, for me to sit because of, on account of all of these very yeah. fast wagons. You're doing great work out here, i got to say. And I thank you. There's a big race coming up or ah. something. Or something, yeah, cool. <laughs> all right, so I'll just be taking uh, this one off off the back if that's uh, all yeah, right. Yeah, I, I, I'll offload it now. He yep. just pulls a lever and a ramp comes down. Nice. Like, is there a, like a horse <laughs> that goes with it? Or? Yes, so yeah. there is a, it's a, a incredible state-of-the-art technology. This sort of cart comes out, sort of a two-wheeled chariot with um, a, like on attached to the front is sort of a cloth bundle with just like a red cord mm. that says pull. <laughs> Cool, I pull it. Just um, a racing, like a really big, stout racing horse just springs up cool. and is already Probably in the saddle. And it's like... Wow. All right. It's ready to go. Get in, get in losers. We're going to Port Fairwind. <laughs> We're going to Port Fairwind. <laughs> okay, I get on very confused by this whole situation. <laughs> and the horse is also magic. painted bright red. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. The go let's go, red horse. All right. Race into town. At top speed. Yeah, sure. Why not? You make you you uh, you probably make up about an hour and forty five minutes of the journey. So uh, yeah, you're you're kind of um, absolutely tearing it up on your way into Port Fairwind. Hey, but what are you up to? I'm looking for. I'm c- casting an eye around for this cockerel man. Can I can I look around the centre of town see if I can spot him? Yeah, maybe a wisdom perception check. Okay. That is a seven minus one for six. Okay. Um, you you swear you see uh, you see Vacatus uh, perched atop a barrel playing a fife. <laughs> He's just there like right. playing a, a jaunty tune. I'm gonna go over and approach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I hope that I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna wander over. Okay. No. I, I mean, on a six, you're pretty certain you're not mistaken. Okay. Good. Um, Vacatus, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> You're Vacatus, right? No. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Never mind. Sorry. You just had That's... particularly large trousers on and I made a terrible mistake. Thank you. <laughs> That's all right. I go, mean... Go about your business. Thank you. I will. And I'm very glad that this little mix-up wasn't actually worse. <laughs> right. We can I both be Egbert's thankful to that. going as, <laughs> as we ride into town. Um, it's Probably diffi- he's already got vacators. <laughs> it's difficult for you to hear over the sound of the horse, which for some reason likes to scream as it as it um, as it gallops. It's just there like ah, ah. <laughs> Maybe it's dyspeptic. You're not entirely yeah. sure. Maybe it's just happy to be out of that uh, that cloth bundle. It's absolutely murder trying to find somewhere to park. There seems to be some sort of street <laughs> festival on today. And, I just um, abandoned it. I said the guy to the guy yeah. leave it. Okay, great, yeah. cool, yeah. yeah. Uh, in that case, yes, there's um, you. You just leave the incredibly expensive just roll sports it. chariot. Yeah, we drift it. We drift <laughs> it into a uh, square somewhere and yeah. then dismount. All right, that's a strength athletics check for drifting <laughs> yeah. sports carriage, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, Meryl, when you're going to need to do this as well because it's yeah. a like. One of you's yanking on the reins. The rest of yeah. you are like having to lean out. Okay. That's an eight. Oh. That's a fourteen. All right, it's an eleven. I rolled quite low. Merylwen. A fourteen. The good news is Merylwen that you're not harmed or anything. Um, the basically the the carriage drifts and it doesn't completely roll, but at the end, the carriage portion itself just goes clunk, and you sort of all spilled out onto the ground <laughs> unceremoniously. And I do a forward roll and go. Ta-da! Uh, no, I uh, do that. <laughs> the cart is probably a write-off. This is a separate move after I've wiped out from the cart. All right, make me a dex acrobatics check then. I will. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Uh, that's 12 plus 4, so 16. Okay, fine. You managed to do a sort of like, ta-da! Everyone on the street goes, way! <laughs> and they sort of come forward with uh, with Thanks. goblets. They're like, hey, that was cool. Have a drink. Thanks, Unless I you're will. going to drive again later. Don't think so. 
Uh, yeah, so I uh, take a take a drink. Yeah, this okay. um, Port Fairwind got livelier since we were last yeah. here. I, I also take a goblet. And... Having I no... take one, but I just have a little sip. Uh, like, not a sip, a little sniff. Okay. Having no I'm reason like, to I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. The wine, I take a nice sip. Yeah. Okay, so Prudence and Coraz on your both. Yeah, I'm Pretty in a nice super ba bad mood from losing my magic, so okay. uh, yeah, I'm gonna drink, drink through pain. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, oh, no. <laughs> you, you drink it, and your first thoughts are, that's magic. Mm. Like, mm, that's really tasty. Your second thoughts are that, like, you would, you would uh, quite like some more of this, uh, to the point where, sort of, given the context clues, you're not sure that you ought to have more of this. But you're also not sure that you can stop yourself from having more of it. Mm, so I, more -ish. I am going to call for occasional constitution saving throws to see uh -oh. if you can stop yourselves from imbibing uh -oh. the okay. delicious tasty wine. Oh, no. um, so it's like if, a willpower check. A little bit. Um, although, Prudence, you do find that it is taking the edge off somewhat. You're, you're less violently furious with Vacatus. Mm. Obviously, you've not come all the way round, but you're not as angry towards him. Okay. You're like, well, maybe if I have a few more of these, I'll maybe I'll start to warm up to the guy. Hmm. You know, okay. maybe I'll see he's not so bad after all. Yeah, that Vocatus. Maybe he's all right, or maybe I want to murder him. Just mm. not, not sure. Mm. Meryl, when I think this is magic wine, maybe don't drink oh. it. Mm. Can I try? I don't know the, whether this will work. Um, can I try and dispel magic? You really want some of that wine. <laughs> um, you could just really do with a glass of wine. Yeah. Uh, choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any level of third level or lower. Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends. For each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level on a successful check. The spell ends. So I can choose one of you. <laughs> have the magic dispel. To try. Hmm. Which one of you which one of you feels like not having to roll for a constitution? It possibly if my uh, I don't know, Prudence, how's your constitution feeling? Um I'm I'm constituted. I'm fairly constituted. Also yeah. it's Merylwyn's call. Come on Merylwyn. Choose who do you love more? <sighs> okay. Yeah, go right. to the one you love best. Yeah go to the one you love Merylwyn. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Prudence, you're odd, and uh, wow. Arizona, you're even. even. I mean, even or not. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. It's Prudence. Prudence She's is pretty getting. odd now that I think Hooray! about it. I'm going to try on Prudence. Hooray so I'd like to Prudence. dispel magic on What are you Prudence. doing, Mer Merylwyn? I was like, this is not healthy for you. How dare um, you use magic on me? This is not a healthy me. way to it's deal with that. It's a very sore subject here. right now. <laughs> Take your magic out of my face. No, I'm taking the magic out of your face. Someone's already dispelled her, her magic, Meryl Wen. That's the whole problem that we're in. It's very insensitive of you to bring it up. I more it's magic. It's not taking all magic. It's taking what someone else has put on her. Hey, you, you never about? know. It might get rid of some li severing link. Yeah? Fine. Let's give it a go. So I'd like That's to rude. cast dispel magic. Hit me. Okay. Hit me, druid. Prudence, you're not going to have to make... Constitution checks. Oh. Hey. Can I drink the wine? Can I drink the wine without ill effect now? <laughs> Probably not, right? You, it's I not would right. say not. No, I <laughs> would say that it would put you straight All back right. to square one. <laughs> right. Yeah, Prudence drinks it, and Meryl's like, ah. Yeah. Um, All right, fine. And uh, Prudence, you are kind of aware that it's like, oh, I was, un I was, I was in the grip of something there. That hmm. was, that was a whole big thing. Um, it was after one sip. Easy enough to dispel, ah. but you suspect for others uh, it might not. It may have a tighter hold on them. And also, Ooh. looking around you at the sheer number of sort of these massive wine bowls that people are liberally drinking from, um, the problem is already quite far spread. Oh, um, oh, that was a close call. Thanks, Berylwin. Hmm. Yeah, Corazon, a, a constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I can use the same spell twice. Natural 20. <laughs> Yay! Well, Corazon, if you're ever feeling a little bit like, oh no, then... Don't waste your spell slots, Meryl. Well, we'll just simply tie him up and leave him in the road where he can't reach <laughs> any wine. Bind my hands. And I yeah. won't be able to... Well, I did just roll a nat 20 on the constitution. Yes, yeah, so you don't right want way. any more wine right now. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Keep Which an eye fine. on it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go to the library and look up the cases. 
Okay, sure. Yeah, make me a uh, history check in the library, please. Uh, 16 plus 4, 20. <laughs> nice, okay. Um, it is difficult to find the uh, the right section in the right book because um, the rule of silence in the library has been um, thoroughly <laughs> breached by the fact that uh, all of the academics seem to be having something of a piss-up. This guy's um, juggling books. Whoa, what happened to the Dewey Decimal System in here, friends? It's, yeah. all, it's all mucked up. Jug juggling those books. Everything's everywhere. Dewey decimated. Um, you managed to find a book on, uh, on um, imps, demons, and uh, overall bad things. A history. Brackets in Geth. All right, I flipped, I riffle through to the V section. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. There is not a whole bunch on uh, Vacatus, but it, it, Vacatus does have an entry. Um, the inscription is, uh, it basically it classes Vacatus as a sort of lesser demon, kind of on the, um, like, it, they're not sure if he's a lesser demon or just like a really highly promoted imp of some kind, but he is, um, he is noted as being a, uh, basically a party trickster. It notes that thankfully contained brackets, prison sphere, whereabouts unknown, and basically just details that his, his sole purpose is to um, just to spread a party, to start to get a party started, and then kind of like going from one house party to another, convince the uh, party goers, or devotees, as you might say, to sort of take the party elsewhere. Right, and so the party, if unchecked, will spread across the planet and consume everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can think um, of worse ways to did, go. Yeah. Right. Did he catch? Did he catch that Prudence and Merrill win? Yeah. 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 I've been yeah. like nosing over your shoulder, being like, "We did." This we is. Did. I feel <laughs> like if you've got a prison sphere, you should mark it as such, so people don't don't make it like a cool-looking eldritch sphere. Yeah, we thought it might have goodies inside. Yeah, you should put bars Precious on it and write "Prison Sphere, power. Don't Open, Evil Imp Inside." Mm. Yeah, this is everyone's fault but ours, Corazon, and I furiously yeah. kick some books. Yeah. Um, May start party apocalypse if you open. You notice the head librarian as you kick over a stack of books. Goes, way, <laughs> way. Kind of like, he goes uh, as if he's not entirely sure why he's yelled way, and then he dips his cup and goes, oh, way. He's just having a nice time. Oh. Uh, Starting to, to think yourself. this wine has a bad influence on people. Yeah. A distorted Usually I'm the, shall we I'm the say. drunk, fun party one. Yeah, Whatever Corazon. else is. How does Corazon stand out? What will happen to your identity if this What will happen to my spreads? whole deal? Exactly. <laughs> we need oh to find God. this Vacatus and also Egbert. Oh, yeah, where is Egbert? Egbert? How's Egbert doing? Also, Corazon's going to have to go straight edge. Yeah, <gasps> that's right. No one wants that. We must avert <laughs> this dreadful calamity. Um, also, didn't. I mean, where is Dob? Because he said he went to the lake to. He got the. He's oh, he from... said he'd hide the shard in the usual place, but he didn't yeah. say that he would be there. So he's gone on. So where's he gone? To further things. He Who did can say? sort of allude that, having confronted Katie Pearlhead, that they were working one or two things out. Yeah, they were having a little oh, yeah. of a heart to heart. Well, sounds romantic. Well, went... Far be it from us to muscle <laughs> in on, on their heart to heart. Um, uh, all Should right, well, let's find, find Egbert? Egbert, at least. Yeah. We'll know that he won't have gone off with anyone because of his general deal. <laughs> let's, let's go and find him. He's not even here to suffer that shade, so let's go find him and then you, <laughs> yes. can, say, you can say that to him once we find him. All right, yeah, that's yeah. good. That's something okay. to look forward to. Okay, um, all right. Egbert, you find yourself not in the shade, actually. You <laughs> have emerged into a patch of... Um, of unbroken sunlight, which for this time of day, as the sun is sort of starting to, um, well, the, the first sun is starting to dip into the horizon, obviously. A lot of places are casting very long shadows, and you, you realize that the reason you are in such direct sunlight is that whatever building was there before it has was, was demolished. And then you right. remember that it was demolished by you. Oh, yeah. Um, you're next to uh, the, old, the old warehouse where... Um, where all of well, basically the evil plots to um, to circulate uh, Port Fairwind uh, style carnivorous chairs <laughs> was uh, was unravelled. Good um, times. Good times. In fact, 
I would like you to make me a wisdom perception roll. Another wisdom roll? Mm-hmm. I know. That one's an 18 minus one, so that's 17. There you go. That's fine. Whoa. That's all right. So wise. Egbert's not that dumb. Yeah. You hear uh, an urgent voice go, Psst. <gasps> Over here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's coming from the wreckage of the um I'm going to go to investigate. All right. As you sort of you, you move in, you sort of move around the corner into sort of half a room that's withstood the force of the blast and the resultant fire. Mm. Um, and you hear a voice go, oh, thank goodness I found you. You seem to be the only one here who's passably sane. Right. And passably you see, so, yeah. In front of you, in sort of some filthy rags with... Uh, uh, a dishevelled, um, sort of wiry, formerly powdered wig, covered in sort of ash and soot, and looking somewhat the worse for wear, is a is a man named Dunnikin. We've met before, haven't we? Oh God! <laughs> oh no! You not? Are you here to finish the job? No, no, no. But tell me what's you going on here. The job. Oh. <laughs> Um, what do I roll to finish the job? Um, <laughs> uh, I think at this point the rest of the party are going to sort of come around the corner and you basically you see Egbert is just not hot on the trail. Huh. He's just sort of futzing around in a demolished <laughs> a warehouse. He's returned to the scene of his own crime. Hi guys. Egbert. Sorry, Egbert. Did you catch? Did you catch the? the nearly, nearly, but man. it was someone well, with big trousers. Well, this is a is it? No, no, I'm this is Dunnikin. Oh. Oh gosh! Oh no! Please don't hold me in a fiery grip again and st- st- strangle me and nearly set me af- aflame. Oh, it's not fir- take chairs! I scream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Paul, stop! Shush, shush! Keep your voices down. Oh, Duncan. They'll, they'll try and get me to have some of their wine. See, it's good though that wine. Well, it, it's kind of Moorish actually. I really, probably go well, for a glass. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Are what you it is sure? About it. Yeah, is it yeah, time to? Is it time to tie up Corazon? Yes. Uh, well, no, make, no, me, no, no. make me a constitution saving throw. We'll find out. That is a natural one. <laughs> yeah! You really want a glass of wine, actually. You're like, oh, yeah. It is more time for wine. Time yeah, for it more is wine. More t- it is more time for wine. Right. It is more time for wine. I need more time for this. wine, you fools. No, I didn't want to do this, I say, and anyway, I smack I... the goblet out of Corazon's hand. Hey! I was using that and drinking yeah. that. <laughs> That's the, the most fun I've had since my magic was gone. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I okay. scrabble around in the dirt for my gob- my precious goblet. Oh, wow. <laughs> I kick you... the goblet as far as I can. Look, are you going to sober up and leave the wine alone so we can no. get on with this, get my no. magic back? You no, should leave the wine alone, I think. Yeah, listen to the the furniture merchant. He knows. At first, that that weird man with his unusual trousers turned up and said here's lots of wine and I said I would like some wine does Dunnikin get some wine and they said no Dunnikin vile Dunnikin we you pariah Dunnikin we remember what you did with the chairs Dunnikin no wine for you and I thought well that's just how life goes for Dunnikin these days naughty Dunnikin vile (laughs) Dunnikin but then they started to have some wine and very quickly they were saying Dunnikin Vile Dunnikin, come have some wine. And I thought, well, uh-huh. now you don't sh- want any. As, yeah, thank you. Yes, as sure as as sure as sure can be, whatever's in that wine, I want no part of it. If they suddenly want me to have it, so I've been hiding here, thinking, poor Dunnikin, vile Dunnikin. Okay. Yeah. Are you it's here all, to say good day? You're bad, Dunnikin, but we need to we need to stop this cockerel-legged man from spreading his wine. Did you see... Have you seen him? Did you see where he went? Well, he's been sort of gallivanting around. Um, in, is he gallivanting in any particular direction? I don't know. Uh, well, a fat lot of help you are, Dunnikin. Oh, poor Dunnikin. <laughs> do, you, do you often <laughs> refer to yourself in the third person? It's part of being it? a pariah. You yeah. have to refer to yourself in uh, the third person. It is written in the charter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Why, who is who is this stranger? What what know you of, of them? He's Long either story short. a lesser demon, right, oh. or a mm. or a major imp. A but promoted imp. Yeah. I see. An imp with ideas. What does he want? To turn the whole planet into a big party. And no one will get I know anything it sounds done. The crops good. will die in the fields. <laughs> the fruits will fall from the trees and rot on the floor. 
because oh. everyone will be too busy drinking wine and partying. Mm. Half of that sounds lovely. Well, Half then. of it sounds ghastly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, do you know of any way to stop him? Uh, we could get another prison orb. That seemed to work last time. Something to do with his appetites as well. By appetites, he was stopped before. Mm-hmm. By appetites, he can be stopped again. I, Does that I mean have... anything to you, Dunnikin? Um, no. Um, well, but appetites. Appet- well, he, he clearly wants people to want wine. So I, yeah, I, I, think, wine. I think we need to get him to get to have the wine and I kind of have an idea if we can find him drinking I've contest got, I can well <laughs> Meryl yeah, is going to challenge the demon to a drinking contest yes Meryl when I love this plan it's a perfect plan Meryl when this is such a you plan I love it <laughs> go on Meryl with the I've got, I've got an plan. idea I've got an idea that I don't want to give away because I think it'd be cool to reveal when we find him <laughs> yeah, seems to me like if it's about appetite. He wants everyone to have more wine. Yeah. Shouldn't we stop people having wine? Uh-huh. Yeah. We could... Oh, so like like negative appetite. Mm. Well, just it seems to me that the problem in Port Fairwind is everyone's having a lot of wine. Yes. If we mm-hmm. stop them having a lot of wine, they won't be having so much wine. I mean, that Ooh. is true. It's inarguably true. Right, we can let's find out get... where the wine is coming from and then we can stop Yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go well, and act prohibition on Port Fairwind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. The untouchables, let's go. Oh. <laughs>